and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Elise. This one's a pretty crazy looking donation deck that we're going to be ending the day out with. So you, we, you may just think like Darius Elise, okay, it's going to be like spider aggro. And maybe that's what our opponent's going to be thinking whenever they pair against us and see Darius and Elise as our champions. But this viewer submitted list is not going to be as aggro. It's actually going to be a little bit bigger, right? Like we're, we're playing some spiders and some aggro stuff. But we're trying to get more to the, the mid game. Like we're playing three copies of Spirit Leech to get a lot of card draw in. Three copies of Withering Whale to stay alive and kill a bunch of sand soldiers and stuff like that. And then get to the top end, like where if we have Darius and Darius dies, we can rekindle her back Darius. Because that's really the goal is rekindle her back Darius. Rekindle her back Elise, not as good. But we got two rekindlers and then three harrowings that can bring all of those back. So like maybe we have our Darius dies, rekindler puts back Darius, now those die. Now harrowing's going to bring back Darius plus Darius plus rekindler for Darius. You know, like that kind of stuff, right? So that's what we're hoping. Plus then we have atrocities. Because if we can get our opponent to be 10 or less health, then our Darius has 10 power. And so therefore, an atrocity on a Darius should kill our opponents. We've got a couple of those in here also. Um, so yeah, so this looks <laughs> this looks uh, like a real interesting strategy. We'll see if it's, um, you know, we'll see if it works out. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I could see this deck doing pretty well. I could also see it not doing well. We'll just have to play the games and see. So we're going to try some mid-range Darius Elise. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and do a prediction here. Let's we'll start that again. If y'all want to wager your channel points, whether we're going to win or lose. Okay, Thresh and Nasus. This is a deck that can also play... It's kind of like our deck, right? Like They have aggressive stuff, but they like playing a late game. Sounds a lot like our deck. All right, we'll keep Culling Strike for Thresh and look for some cheaper stuff. That's some cheaper stuff. Very good. No Decimate, please. Okay, cool. Just attack for one. Take that over Decimate. That's still a great start. Curse Keeper and the Blighted Caretaker attacking on round three. Yeah, I kind of think that we have to that we have to cooling strike the Bakai Reaper. I kind of want to like Sentry and stun one of these. So they can't, but then if I do that, then the other Sapling challenges my Sentry and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I guess we kind of just have to do this. We take five, go to fourteen. The grove follows. If I'd forgotten them, no. I don't have Culling Strike for Thresh anymore, of course. Which is too bad. See what we see, so. Withering Whale could definitely be a useful draw. Seems like that could be a useful draw. Say that looks pretty useful. Even if this all works out and everything, we're still we're up one card on them basically. Like we both have four cards in hand. We got three two in play, but they got all this mana. It's kind of crazy. That, like after we just withering whale away a ton of things, 
it's still basically an even game. <laughs> just their deck's pretty good. Okay, and of course we know one card's a champion. I think it's that. I think it's this card right here. Um, I'll just pass. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? I've already played one Valve Feast, hope they don't have another. Hooray. Alright, so next round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I play the Doom Beast, I do not get to Whale Scorched Earth. I'll just pass. I'm already at 20 health, I can't heal past 20. Last time I checked. The desert by my side. Always they don't really want to play their champions. So we know they have a champion in hand. I was hoping that they would play it and so they could get a little bit of damage on the champion for Scorched Earth. Hey, Sparky. Whoa, what's up, boo? We enter an age of men and There's a champion. Um, yeah, we'll get precious fun to play also. Hey, boo. Happy weekend. Plan attack. Things could go pretty wrong here, right? Like, what, what could go wrong is if my opponent can, like, if they have removal for one of these other things, and then, like, removal, then removal, and th then the NASA sits for 10. Okay, so it only hits for 9, so it doesn't... Yeah, you know, like, that's what I was worried about, that is that it would... Um, It would get the spell shield, right? It would level up, get the spell shield, all that kind of stuff. Oh. I guess that's also a worry. I suppose that is also a worry. So going with the Decimate, so now Darius is, will be 10 power, and they'll be at 10. Yeah, if they have another Nasus and they go with the Strike, that, that'll be sad, but I can't really stomp that. Okay, they're not doing that. I would have had, like, the Rekindler to bring it back, but... Oh, they had it? I was hoping it was just like atrocity, like where they'd have to sacrifice their Nasus. Oh, this is really bad. They had it. Mm. 
I couldn't have had that last round. If I would have had that last round, they would have been dead. Aziz, command. Judgment awaits. All right, well, so now if they have atrocity, then I lose. Boot gifting out the sub to IMG Sparky. We each died, then found hope. Thank you, Boo. Our third sub of the day. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I guess you know, I, I, I thought I could stun and then like then attack. Really, the only, yeah, that was the card that made my play not so good was the siphoning strike for sure. But without that, that Darius was gonna do a ton of work. I was trying to force them. I thought that they had Atrocity, not Siphoning Strike, because they didn't Siphoning Strike. Once I played, like, the Decimate, and they didn't Siphoning Strike, then I'm thinking that they don't have Siphoning Strike. So I thought that I could... So I thought they had Atrocity. And so I thought I could do that and force them to sacrifice their, not, their Nasus to kill my Darius. That was my hope. It's not really worth doing that. So if they have atrocity, they could have killed me last round. I know what lurks in the shadows. So I I think just a, it's basically if I go for atrocity, I think I guess vile feast. Vile feast is another way they stay alive. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try it. We're just gonna try it and hope it works. They're not playing anything though, so they're like acting like they have atrocity. That's what they're doing. All right, cross the fingers. Hopefully they don't have it. Lethal. Because now with this attack, it's it's definitely lethal through Vile Feast or anything else they have. So like this is that's the only card they could have to save it. And they they did have it. That was their card they had. So So it looks like and that was the card they had over here. So It looks like their last two cards were just Siphoning Strike plus Atrocity, the two the two best last two cards whenever we went with um, this done the last time. So I, I didn't have a good option for this game. Oh, we're playing Thresh Nasus again. Same matchup. I was pretty, I was pretty happy with how our deck did it. How our deck, our per, like we performed really well last game. Like we got into a good spot. Our opponent just had the, you know, they had the card to kill us. We got into a good spot though. Withering Whale was a big part of it, right? We had like multiple, very clutch Withering Whales. No. Let's think about Vile Feasting that, so then they couldn't play Ravenous Butcher and get a 4-3 and a 3-2. Or that thing. Not the best file feast right here, but if if it works, if they don't have anything and this works, we level up Elise. 
But of course they do have something, so never mind, we do not level up the lease. But we tried. Alright, so now we'll be able to draw two. Rekindler is enabled. Ooh, okay. Ravenous Flock makes uh, that Vile Feast look a little better. I also kind of like that thing just dying to Withering Whale. Saving Ravenous Flock. Or something else. I played Withering Will right then because of, for mana considerations. Because it basically cost three mana instead of five playing it right then, but now obviously my opponent has all this. So that's not fantastic. This is not good. This is not good. This Thrash is about to level up. I need anything that does like one point of damage, right? Because we can do four to this Thrash. We need something. We need like another Vile Feast, but I've already had so many Vile Feasts. Oh, our Culling Strike is so good. Okay, Culling Strike. Okay. Culling Strike's the real deal. So how do I pull this off? What's Culling Strike? Do I just Culling Strike right now? And they can sacrifice two things in response. Um, which isn't easy. Do I just pass? But if I pass, they could pass also. Oh, yeah, right. A negation is always so yuck. Um, yeah, this is kind of bad, isn't it? Yeah. I, I just don't think I can pass. Like, because I, I think if I pass, they pass, and I just have nothing else I can play. I can't play Spirit Leech, because then I allow them to play Spirit Leech. So, yeah, I, could, I just got to do this. There's, there's just no other option. Hey, it worked. Okay, it worked. Few can know what death and eternity hold in store. Um. Noxus will rise. Your time is done. Okay. We'll take that. That helps out my rekindler for sure. Okay, that that round went really well for me. You know, now they have four cards, I have seven. They don't have more champions. We each died, then found hope. Always forward. Come on, attack with more things. Yeah, I want that did one to harrowing next round. Hmm. Through the spirit leech. We march. Night, no, because they can block with the four one. The dark closes in. So 
So plan is harrowing next round. So this will be two dead Nasus, which is a lot of dead Nasus. That is a lot of dead Nasus. That's two, there's only one left in the deck. We've had one dead thrush. You must know me, little one. You must. Man, this Reaper is a seven one. Like I can play another harrowing this round and have get two more Darius to die and then harrowing again next round and two more Darius to die. All right, negation. I kind of like pass. Yeah, that's a lot of mana over there. Them having nine mana still. I only use one mana, they use a lot. What a perfect culling strike draw. It's a perfect culling strike draw. That's the second dead thresh. So now they have two dead thresh and two dead Nasus. Yeah, it's a real close game. That's that's for sure. They they have like two big threats left, like with their two champions, especially the, this one. Like, Nasus is the card that can kill me. So love having a Scorched Earth because I could, could take out a Nasus theoretically. You gotta kind of assume they're playing a bunch of smaller, like their their hands like a bunch of smaller units, like that they're not really playing very much. That you know because their board's kind of full, because you can only go six wide. So you, Kind of seems like maybe they have like an atrocity, maybe two atrocities, but then, you know, maybe like some more of these like fading icon type things. Besides the card they just drew, I think that's like what the rest of their hands looking like. It's all about Nasus. If, if they cannot find their very last Nasus, they're not going to win this game. But if they find Nasus and they have atrocity, just like last round of us dying to Nasus atrocity, we can still certainly lose. All right, I'm going to try to ravenous flock this thing right now before it gets too big as far as atrocity is concerned. That thing was about to be an 11-1. Oh, they just drew Nasus? Yeah, I mean, that's the card, right? Like, that's the card that can kill me. Just found it. It's the only card in their deck <laughs> out of out of the you know, like the sixteen cards left. They just drew the, the last copy. So now it's now it's atrocity. Now do they have the other part of the combo? It's a two card combo. If they have it, we lose. If they don't, we're gonna win. So I'm not going to let them turn on the spell shield. But of 
course, it's how do we win, and that's the question. If I'm forgotten, then no. How do we win? I can't Doom Beast. We'd just die to atrocity if I play Doom Beast. Right now. That could be the card. Vengeance can be the card. So trying to do this, of course, just to get, get damage on the Nasus, so then we can Scorch Earth it. Do they have the right of negation? No right of negation, and that's it. That was the third Nasus. So they done. Wow, that was close. So close. Let's do it again. 56 chicken wings getting the gifted sub from a boot. Thank you so much there. Boot keeping it going. So we're gonna we're gonna try it again. We'll, we'll again keep calling strike because of Thresh. Send the rest back. I know the vengeance is a great answer to Nasus, but uh, we can't really keep that in the opener because they can run us over uh, fairly effectively. Ow. Ugh, that's how we got. Alright, alright. You wanna come up here, girl? I know you come up here, girl? In the shadows. Forgetting this death to an immortal. I don't know if it's worth the attack, actually. No, it's probably not worth the attack. Because the attack, they get to block the 1-1, one, one, and then it grows all of their things. So that's not definitely not worth the attack. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Ah, oh, such pretty poison. Oh, hey, what's up? Emery, the, our last opponent. Hey, good match. Yeah, that was a very good match. Yeah, well, what is this deck? I don't know. This is, yeah, this is a, this is a weird one for sure. <laughs> Especially look at our hand. Our hand looks really silly. I don't know, like, am I supposed to Spirit Leech away Elise? Kinda have to. Sorry, there's a car alarm going off in the background. I don't know somebody's car. do triple book high reaper is brutal like we we just need two withering whales right like that's we have to have withering whale like that's that's what we need and we don't have it oh, this is brutal yeah because they just have three one man anassas <laughs> that card's just one man anassas Yeah, I guess I guess we do just lose. That's 15 damage right there. This is pretty ridiculous. Triple, triple Reaper. I 
All right, so we're playing against Burn now. Pretty self-explanatory mulligans. Cards that are super expensive are gone. I do like the Vile Feast. Time for the main event. It's great. So we'll have the, the Spiderling be able to block the Scrap Scuttler. Scrap Scuttler. Alright, kind of wasted um, that Vile Feast now that we have Withering Whale. Wasted a little bit. They gotta have vision, right? I figure I'm going to cast this Withering Whale before the next time this Crap Scuttler is going to hit me anyway, so we might as well just like spend two mana to draw two. Because we could, we could use a little bit more help. The problem with that is crowd favorite, I guess. I stand for that card? I gotta work with this joker. Fate brings us together. Let's hope they didn't block. Could have another Draven and then Draven whirling death the sentry, then I'm taking a decent amount of damage from this thing, but that's just kind of how life is. I haven't drawn a champion yet. Okay, so they're just going all burn. They could have killed the 3 2, but so I guess they don't. They just figure their crowd favorite's gonna die anyway. So they're going all burn. Just one card left. The scariest card, of course, is Jinx. I don't have like a good answer to Jinx right now. Let's draw two. All right, now we got an answer to Jinx, but it costs eight mana, and we have seven, so that doesn't work out. Okay, Darius. My axe is ready. It's basically all about Jinx. Do they have Jinx? Oh, they have that card. Okay. That's also a pretty decent card. Hmm. That is quite a decent card. That worked out pretty well for them.
Okay, good, no vision. Vision was like game over right there. Yeah, so swing and rekindler. The Legion waits. I don't love swing and rekindler. I guess maybe that's the best thing though. Karma pass. They will bleed for Noxus. Cool. The rules are made to be broken. Like those for people. Time for the Dang. main event. I was afraid this day would come. So many champions over there. Alright, so they've leveled up Jinx. Their future Jinxes will be leveled up. Which is what we kind of expected. Just hoping no more future jinxes. Got me oh no, that's not good either. All right, top tackle withering whale. Nope. Wow. That's eight damage right now. Wow, that was so greedy. We get blockers. They could have done any damage to me. That was so greedy. Now they're going to do two damage to me. All right, so they have four on the ground. I'll just pass. They're going to attack, obviously. So I don't like. It's not like they're going to not attack. to die. What the rest of the team? So basically, I, w I wanted bigger Darius. Like 10 6 Darius, so they couldn't just get excited Darius, right? Like, that's that's my thinking. Now we have Atrocity. So. Atrocity kind of means maybe I should just play the Rekindler. But let's see, if I do this, I get to attack out. They block with everything, go to one. They could keep Draven alive. Basically, go to like two. Kill my stuff. Come back, open attack. Alright, so yeah, that's. This is the best play. Yeah, this is the best play. Rekindler into Atrocity next round. I just don't even need to attack. Just don't even need to get any damage on Darius. I guess so they could Whirling Death. Right, that thing. Join the conflagration. We're going to have a lot of things go right for them to kill Darius here. It, like, Whirling Death plus Get Excited kills it. But then I still, you know, I Vile Feast away something else, and we're still alive, and then we Harrowing, and then we're good. Oh, or now just Vision. That's way better than Get Excited, actually. Vision. I didn't think of Vision. Oh, that's only five? So that should be us winning. <laughs> it's a zero zero. That should be us winning. I guess I might as well just play this just just in case. <laughs> they were so close. Oh, 
All right, two and two. Man, we have had some nail biters here in these games. What's my name? My favorite in-game pet. I, I like Cosmo. I like the pup. <laughs> As you see, my dog I just just leave right there. I like Cosmo. Okay, Thresh Nasus. Well, this is a, a matchup we haven't played before. Except for the first three times. So, round number four. Versus Thresh Nasus. Gone, gone. See how we do? Thrash Nessus. <laughs> Thrash the Nexus. Oh, uh, they have turn one decimate. Well, I guess we'll just make it turn one Mystic Shot. That also trades with one of our cards. I know what Curse Keeper? No, it's always Fading Icon. Boo. No Merciless Hunter. I guess it's not a Merciless Hunter. As far as Blighted Caretakers go, that's that's about as bad as a Blighted Caretaker can be. I must be known. They grow up so fast. We must all make Alright, then Elise probably trades with the Butcher. Oh, but Withering Whale. No. We could use a bite. They could just block Spider Spider. Yeah, they, they block Elise. Ooh, I love this. I love them not trading. A good chance that means they have another Bakai or another sorry, um Blighted Caretaker. Good chance of that. There's no way. They have Vile Feast? Oh, I was gonna say. Cause I was like, if they have Vile Feast, why didn't they Vile Feast my Elise instead of trading with the 3-2? Well, trips Darius. Darius, other card. Darius, other card. Darius, other card. Um, I think I'll just stun. Because let's see, if I do this. So I could do a whale plus scorched earth to take out thrash. I'll just stun. two mana by not playing Withering Whale right now. Is that going to come back to haunt me? Mayhaps. Is the hand of Noxus. Mayhaps. So that's two. <laughs> this is the hand of Noxus indeed. <laughs> hand, which we have determined is the hand of Noxus. Bark Beast? You don't see a lot of Bark Beasts in that deck these days. 
Yeah, I don't really see a lot of Arc Beast. All right, so only two cards left. One of which is this one right here is either Thresh or Nasus. 60% chance to be Nasus. 40% chance to be Thresh. It's actually a little bit under that because we don't know what this card is. That card could have been a Nasus. But, yeah. All right, so that was. It was Nasus. So we're going to get some damage in on their stuff. Now they got to think long and hard about whether they're going to challenge Darius or not, and they are not. Interesting. You know, where are you at? Three? So this would be four, that would be five. This won't be a fair fight. To dust. You serve me. Noxus will rise. Will rise. They don't really do the Nexus healing thing, but they do have negate, like the ride of negations. Yeah, we have three. Yep, we have three of these uh, cool harrowings. Card's pretty cool, pretty cool. Got three of them. So I didn't decimate first because then they could play like a Nasus to block. Kind of like to get in that damage in. What I was thinking. But I also realized that even if I was open attacking, what I should have done is I should have open attacked and then in Scorched Earth during the attack, because it's not like they could put the Thresh into blocks if the Thresh just dies anyway. So I realized that like after I clicked attack, is that the, the best line there would have been open attack, Scorched Earth during the attack. Because my unit had overwhelm. That would have been my best line. Okay. We enter an age of men and gods. Pretty risky. Fairly risky, because if they counter if they counter this. Yeah, I mean it's just my best play though. None of these other cards are that good to play. Let's go for it. Make them have it. They don't have it. G, G. Three and two. All right, so there was Darius Elise. So we really got to show how the deck does against Thresh Nasus. <laughs> I'm hoping that you were wondering how that match was going because four of our five games ended up playing against Thresh Nasus. And that just happens sometimes when you just play in ranked. You know, you don't get to choose what you play against. Sometimes you just hit like a, a patch of like, you know, X deck that you play against a lot. You know, maybe it's, you know, the Zoe Shivana early in Soul deck you just play against a lot or the Discard Burn or, you know, sometimes people just play against like four Aurelia Zeers in a row, right? Like you definitely hear about that with different people. And, and today it was just all Thresh Nasus with this deck. Ended up going two and two in the matches. It felt honestly like a pretty decent matchup, right? Like we were kind of in control for most of the time in most of those games. One time we got ran completely ran over. And so we lost that one, of course. And then the other three, we won two of the three, and you know, like they needed the atrocity to win that other one. But we were in pretty good control. Our deck, felt, like you know, so like we we felt pretty well in control of all the other three games. So three out of the four games, we felt in pretty good control. You know, we got cheesed out by an atrocity once it happens. Um, we had one where our opponent just started really aggressive and ran us over. Also happens. But it didn't feel like too bad of a matchup overall. Um. Our deck looks, yeah, our, our, our deck looks really wonky, but it, it kind of works, right? The Withering Wills were super clutch. Like, the, this card was really important, and Withering Will is just a really good card these days. Lots of, like, discard burn and just aggro decks like that, and lots of small aggro. So the Withering Wills were nice, and then pairing Withering Will with Scorched Earth um, really, really looked good. I liked that pairing quite a bit. And then uh, when you're playing, like, a, a Noxus, Shadow Isles kind of control deck... Some of the questions is like, how do you actually win games? How do you finish the games out? 
Darius did a great job of finishing the games out, dealing a lot of Nexus damage, being a 6-5, um, and then if it if it leveled up, you know, then obviously, you know, that finishes games out really quickly. Um, but, you know, like, it, that's that's the thing of this kind of deck, is, like, if you play this kind of deck with, like, Swain or Kindred, you know, like, it, it can be difficult to, like, sure, you can control the board for a while, but, like, how do you actually uh, kill them before they um, acquire Nasus atrocity combo kind of thing, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta put a clock on your opponent, and Darius does a good job of that. So I think that worked out pretty well. So yeah, it worked. It worked out. It looks a little weird. Looks a little different. We're going big with spiders, but worked out fairly well. All right. So anyway, that's going to be it here for Darius Elise. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, please leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it today. Um, had a lot of good ones today. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. But uh, that's going to be it here for Darius Elise. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.